And once I like looked at the video, like what the, he smirked and jumped at me. Like, yeah, this is the reality that I'm talking about. You don't have to second guess it. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, As Real As It Gets. My name is Asriel, and today we will be talking about fallen angels and technology. I'm going to start this by saying there is nothing new under the sun. If you look at some of the drawings on the pyramids in Egypt, you will find helicopters. And not only that, there's technological finds all over the world that are modern sciences can't even explain what they were used for or how they use them however they can tell that they were used for some sort of technology back in their time by the way that they were preserved i will also say we don't know how long our technology has truly been around and not only that if you really think about it logically it doesn't make sense how just a human being would create something as simple as a computer. Really think about it. Who thought to put together copper and crystals in order to make an LCD screen and put all these things together in order to get a computer? And not only that, the internet. This definitely came from a higher dimensional being that has passed down the knowledge unto a spiritual being having a human experience, which is us. A while ago, I got a comment on one of my fallen angel videos. And the comment said that the fallen angels were very good with controlling technology. And it kind of inspired me to make this video. Simple fact because they are, I've witnessed the fallen angels control technology. For an example, the latest thing that has happened to me, I was watching a YouTuber that is very well known within the spiritual community. And I wouldn't like to call him, call it a fallen angel. However, a higher dimensional being or a spiritual being use this vessel in order to communicate with me. I notice whenever I watch certain spiritual YouTubers or videos or movies, I will get messages through them from the spiritual beings. So I was watching this video, kind of zoning in and out. And all of a sudden he piqued my attention and he was saying, you will begin to see more of your reality as you gain more knowledge and wisdom. And as soon as he said that, it clicked. And I was like, what does he mean by that exactly? I looked to my left and out of my peripheral, I look at the video and he's like making a dance, like mocking me. Like, yeah, it's me. I'm talking to you. That message was for you, and this is the reality that I'm talking about. And once I, like, looked at the video, like, what the... He smirked and jumped at me. Like, yeah, this is the reality that I'm talking about. You don't have to second guess it. And this is not the first time that I've witnessed spiritual beings communicating to me through technology. If you watch my videos, I'll go ahead and pin them up on the screen. I, I have one where I was giving a mental health update and my favorite show, Degrassi, like literally, I like to say, crack through the veil. Watch that video and you'll know what I'm talking about. And another video that I spoke on recently where my hand, I was recording a video in all of Everything that happened between the spiritual beings and my hands, it got recorded and a friend witnessed it. You can watch me talk about it after this video. So yeah, I'm no stranger to that. And they're very 
slick with it. It doesn't have to happen like just in your face bow. It can be very subtle. I'm not sure if you know, but a lot of the industry, the media industry uses this to their advantage, such as the music industry. They will put certain spells or a certain frequency in order to get the reaction that they want out of the listener. You know, they say Lucifer was ahead of music before he got kicked out. And I'll say music is very influential among people. It can be used for good. It can be used for evil. I honestly believe that the so-called powers that be sold their not only... I won't say sold their souls, but definitely made a contract with these fallen angels. And that's one of the reasons why they have so much power and why they're able to make the leaps that they have throughout history, such as, you know, first we had the radio, then we had the phone, and now we have the internet boom. And any minute now, there will be a next technological quantum leap thanks to these spiritual beings i would have to say be very careful of everything that you consume simple fact because the media does have power your subconscious mind cannot tell the difference from what is truly happening in your own physical reality and something that you're just watching on a screen. Hence the reason why some people, when they watch a scary movie, their heart is pounding, they're sweating, they have anxiety, simplified, because in their subconscious mind, they're living through that scary movie. Hence the reason why we have scary movie buffs, including me. In that moment of time, you're living through it. It's like a roller coaster ride. Your subconscious mind do, can't tell the difference. All it knows is to take in whatever information it comes across. And this can be, like I said, this can be used for good and this can be used for evil. Unfortunately, being that Lucifer holds the keys right now, all of this technology that can be used for pure goodness for the planet earth and us and more it's used for selfishness and greed and it shows but i have faith in a new world where the tables will definitely turn um once upon a time these fallen angels were good angels and using their gifts and their powers for good and i definitely do believe the tables will turn back and those same, very same technological advances will be, instead of within greed, it will be made within love. But that's not going to happen anytime soon, realistically thinking. But I'm still hopeful for that day to come for my future children. As a child, I used to pray over Every movie, show, music, any piece of media, I used to pray over it before I indulge in it. As a child, I didn't have a understanding as to why I would do it, but I, it just felt right. But as I've grown older, it just makes sense. As a child, I would always pray that the media would not affect me in any way. As a child, I even felt it. Like I felt something. I couldn't put it into words or have an understanding of it at the time, but I felt something and I would pray. And sometimes I honestly still do at times, depending on what content I am watching. Fallen angels definitely use their own technology for their own benefit. They can communicate to you they can manipulate you they can do a lot of things they can do it in your face they can do it subtly where you wouldn't even know that song you listen to just may seem like a ordinary catchy tune 
when the whole time there is a spell, a curse laid on that track and turned down to where you can't consciously hear it, but your subconscious can consciously hear it. You have to be very careful. This technology is very powerful. It's honestly sad at how we today as a group of people, how we use technology, we just use it to post our lives and gain likes and validation. We're not using it to try to invent new things or better our lives. And I won't say each and every one of us, simple fact, because I try to use technology to better my life and not only that, make connections with people that are like-minded. And I'm pretty sure there are other people doing the same too. So I'm not saying, you know... There's no one out there doing any good. But if you want to look at it as a collective whole, it's not looking so good. But, hey, it's all a distraction that the 1% put into place by no mistake. And I truly do believe they made a contract with these fallen angels in order to gain an continue to hold the power that they have however that contract is not forever not even lucifer will be in power of the world for all eternity so why would the one percent have that power for all eternity it's not going to happen one day the tables will turn i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up it was nice having this talk with you if you had any experiences with maybe your technology glitching or you maybe you felt like you received a message through your technology or anything like that do you have any of your own theories of technology i would love to hear them comment them down below if you have any it was nice talking to you i'll catch you on the next one bye